they come from such totally different backgrounds. My father from a Hasidic family in Warsaw, and Martin Luther King from a Baptist background in the American South. It's a very odd combination, and, and it's one of the American miracles. They had similar theological sensibilities. My father discovered a Christian who was making the Hebrew Bible the center of the American discussion. Amazing. And he was very moved by that. And the fact that my father wrote the book on the prophets also was very important. Andrew Young told me that everybody had a copy of that book on the prophets and carried around in their pocket. And of course, I know I did, and I've kept it on my desk ever since. Yeah, it's one of the books I, I, when I, when I move, I know where that book is. I have always uh, seen him as a kind of intellectual father. And whenever I get a little down or depressed, I go get one of his books and I read the prophet Isaiah and what he has to say about Isaiah. Because Isaiah was written at a time of the desolation of Israel. And yet it's the loftiest vision of dreams for humankind. It's people's ability to have faith in the midst of persecution and destruction that black Americans tapped into. And if you notice Martin Luther King's speeches, he quotes from the prophets more than almost anybody else. And he got a lot of those insights from his study of Rabbi Heschel. King was impacted by Heschel's analysis of the prophets. Heschel made the conviction of the prophet that God is here in our immediate struggle and that God's struggle is a struggle to help those who are voiceless to find voice, those who are blind to find sight, that it's in that unique dimension that God is most present 